Okay, guys, here we go. Part three, the last part of the critique for the motion assignment. Let's uh, kick this baby right off and get her going. Oh, another bike. In this case, a uh, shot that's a frozen shot. The bike is coming toward us. The reason that we can tell it's frozen is that if it weren't, this guy would be in the process of falling over. So it almost has to be a frozen shot. It shows the background, the uh, environment. Again, I think you could make this stronger by losing a little of the stuff that's around it. Maybe not a lot, but a little bit. We cropped in about like this. We could make this a little bit stronger and really concentrate on what the photograph is about, which is the rider on the bike. But this is a good capture. It's a really nice starting point for the shot. Good job. Now I've got a uh, Porsche streaking down the street. Nice catch. Could have been a little bit sharper on the car, but it really does give a sense of the car probably breaking all of the local speed rules, uh, doing something it's not supposed to be doing. But it's, it's a good shot, and it does give a sense of that motion. If this were a car ad, they would probably like to see the car a little bit clearer. But in the case of the Porsche, it's got such an iconic shape that anybody that's in the cars would look at this and know what they're looking at. There are some of the cars out there that that's not true. You'd really need to be careful to show enough of it to give it away what it is. But this, this works pretty well. It's a nice catch. The composition works. It really works pretty well. And another car moving down the highway. This case, following it, going uh, screen left to right. We probably do not need all of this screen over here. And this blurred car is a little distracting. But the shutter speed capture is good. You've made a good um, job of this, getting the background to blur with this pan, with this motion pan. So overall, it's a nice shot. The highlights are a little hot. You could bring this down a touch, and it would help it enormously. But that would be pretty easy. We could probably do that simply with a levels adjustment. And that gives us a little more of what we need. Simple, simple correction. Notice here you've lost this material. Remember, when you're looking at this levels setting, this levels dialog box, take a look at this grayscale that's down here at the bottom. This is actually to be used for something else, but it does give you some important information. When you relate that to the grayscale under the histogram, this point right here, where all of the histogram trails off. If you trail that down onto the grayscale here, that's where your black is, but it's not really black. Black is over here. This triangle underneath, this slider, represents black. So if we move it right there, we have now made this section, what was here in the original, this has now become real black in the image and it's changed things enormously so be aware of how these little pointers work and use them to your advantage when you're creating your shots okay let's go on and here is our last one another car shot it's a nice overall tableau the exposure is beautiful the general shot is nice our only issue here is everything is frozen so it's difficult to tell, are these people just parked here? Did the apocalypse just happen down the road and everybody has stopped? A great EMP blast took place overhead and everybody's engines just died? What's going on here? 
So be careful when you're freezing motion. Sometimes you freeze not just the motion, but all sense of what's actually happening. So pick those moments carefully. But otherwise, this is a good shot. So anyway, that's the end of the motion assignment. We'll be on to the next assignments pretty quickly. And we'll see you back here then. Take care.